Hi, welcome to my video review of uh, Bright Star Math. We have uh, worked with Bright Star Math Level B. We started with Level B last year, and we have just completed Level C. Uh, actually, today it was our last day for Level C. So I have been using it for a while now, for two years, and I. We like it very much and we will continue to use it in the future. And I wanted to give a brief review of level B. Uh, here's the book for level B, Red Star Mathematics for Educators, uh, with the worksheets. For those of you who may be considering purchasing Red Star Math, I hope this review will come in handy. So the basics, the basis of, of Red Star is the abacus. AL Abacus, which stands for Activities for Learning, and um, this is really what enables the child to um, start visualizing the numbers and using mental strategies to, to do the additions and subtractions, and then later on multiplication and division. Uh, it, is, it is very clever the way Dr. Cotter has designed this. Uh, she treats uh, the, the numbers from, one, from 6 to 10 as units and the fingers are being used just to, to represent those units, not for counting. It, uh, right Start Math discourages counting at all times. It's all about mental strategies and visualization and uh, never counting. So, um, for, for representing numbers, you will go with one and use one finger, then two, three, four, and five. And then for six, six is treated as five and one. Then seven is five and two, eight is five and three. 9 is 5 and 4, and 10 is 5 and 5. So this will be um, repeated on the, on the lessons throughout the very early lessons of level B consistently, so that the child understands and, and just right off the bat will know that five and, uh, 6 is 5 and 1, 5 and 2, 5 and 3, and 5 and 4, and 5 and 5. And that's where the abacus comes in handy because as you can see here, this is the first line. This will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And once you get to 6, you just see it and visualize it. You don't need to actually count. You just know that 6 is 5 and 1. Then 7, 5 and 2, 8, 5 and 3, 9, 5 and 4, and 10, 5, and 5. And this will continue on once you get past the numbers up to 10. And you know this is 20, and 30, and 40, and 50. And once it gets to 50, it changes to 60. The colors are reversed, so you then again do not need to count, excuse me, to count, but you just look at it and you know right away. So for instance, 63, you know that's 63. You don't need to count anymore. You just know right away that that's the number, and so on. Then that's, that's how um, Dr. Cotter uses that. She will also represent the same up to 10 with tally sticks. And you go 1, and 2, and, and 3, and 4, and 5, depending on the number. So, so that is drilled to in, uh, repeated consistently with, with the children so that they understand. She also uses her, her uh, cards. These all come in level B. One. Uh, for instance, this one is here 10 and, and six. I copy, photocopy these on construction paper on red construction paper, so you will see them red, but they don't, they don't come like this in red. And, and then again with the, with the fingers, all 
also she represents that. So that's pretty much the basis of level. So, um, so the strategies that she uses once the kids have learned and really understand the concept of of the numbers uh, five on five for five for the one hand has five fingers that's why it changes in five and then in ten because the two hands has ten fingers that's why it changes again in ten so it's five and ten as we, as we all know that but um, later on when she starts to uh, introduce an addition for example uh, let's say uh, what is five plus seven so five, you can use the abacus to represent five, and then the seven would be seven is five and two. Remember that one. So this is five and seven is twelve. So the child will immediately be able to to know right away by entering the quantities in the abacus five plus seven. And once the child has mastered the abacus. Uh, she encourages the child to, to have a mental picture of the abacus and, and it's, it really does work, work well that way because you don't need to have the abacus with you at all times but you just imagine it in your head and even if you don't have it you know for instance if you want to add again once you have mastered the, the representing the numbers in the abacus uh, you start, uh, Dr. Cotter introduces some mental strategies to do simple additions. One of these strategies is the two fives, and you don't need the abacus anymore for this. I mean, you, you will uh, use it for, for just the introduction of the strategies, but once you learn them, then you can just do them in your head. They're mental. So, uh, for instance, the two fives. Let's say you wanted to add 6 and 8. So you know that 6 is, is 5 and 1, and that 8 is 5 and 3. So all you do is take those two fives of those numbers, that 10, 5 and 5, and then take the 1 and the 3, and that makes 4. So 6 and 8 is 14. So there's a lot of different strategies that she uses. So the children will be able to just very much understand the, 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 the additions and the uh, subtraction. It's just not going to be memorization at all. She completely discourages that. Another strategy is the nines. When you add to, uh, a number and a nine to a number, then, for instance, if you're adding eight and nine, then you go eight, you enter 8 in the first wire and then, or actually let's enter 9 first, 9 and then 8 and then what she does is give 1 and take 1. So you're giving 1 to make it a 10 and take 1 to make, uh, to take the 1 that you gave. So you have there 17. Um, Pretty, pretty simple, but pretty effective. That's um, for side one of the abacus, which are quantities less than a hundred. So later on the, in the course, she will introduce in level B. Later on in level B, she will introduce side two of the abacus, which is for quantities greater than a hundred. For this, she will have introduced place value concepts. And for that, she uses the place value cards that are right here. They come in a very nice and neat, sturdy, sturdy plastic. Very hard to distract for little hands. So you have eight, the ones and the tens. And uh, you can see them here better. The ones, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. So we do a lot of different games and activities using these so that the child can see the distinction and the place value. So once they understand that, they come, she, the child will come to the abacus 
and then enter the quantities here. For instance, uh, two ones here, I'm going to have to put it like that so that the beads stay up. Let's say this is two ones and one ten and maybe three uh, hundreds and one thousand. So this number is 1,312. And then you just start doing the operations you have to add, then you just enter the next number, and so on. She will introduce uh, trading here too with games and activities, and also and the abacus will always be the, the tool that she uses for the child to, to visualize the, the concept. So that's pretty much what uh, Level B is all about. And for us it's been a, a very fun uh, learning uh, curriculum because it's, a lot of it is based on, on, on games, all the reinforcement for the concepts are games and, and the kids really do love games. And it, it, it really it works and it's simple and it, it's clever and, and it works. Thank you for watching the review. If you like it, if you felt it was useful, please let me know, leave me a comment and give me a like. Thank you. And if you need more information, please visit my blog, raisingaselfreliantchild.com. It's my blog on homeschooling. Thank you.